So hi, everybody. Good morning, and thank you so much for the invitation to be here. Um, um, I, I work for public knowledge, as many of you know, and I think that it's wonderful to see that connectivity is actually the word of the year, if not the past two years, and I think this is something really good. It's better than surveillance, right? Um, and I think that from Bono fro to Mark Zuckerberg to all of us, actually, we all are united on this effort. And of course, we all have our different roles coming from civil society. We want to be sure that a lot of the initiatives have some core uh, human rights or civil liberties or whatever you want to call it, depending on which country you are from. I'm from Brazil, so it's constitutional rights. Uh, you want to uh, be sure to embed those on those initiatives. And I think some initiatives just mentioned right now by my colleagues are actually in the right direction. Um, and this principle is very important in a moment that we see things like Brexit happening, right? A lot of fear is spread around the world. So this uni uh, uniting people with freedom, uh, um, with human rights in mind, and also giving them a purpose and showing them what's the added value that they're going to get by connecting is really, really important, I think, in this moment of history we are now. Uh, but connection is just one step. It's a step in the right direction, but it's just is the first step, right? It has to come, uh, things that are more important that connectivity have to come with it. So here, I, I'm, I'm, I'm commenting on uh, privacy and security. I think those are the different sides of the same coin. Freedom of expression, innovation, I also see them as the sides of the same coin. They all go hand in hand. Uh, and to be clear again, right, uh, shared uh, global connection is a shared goal, is part of public knowledge mission, not just in US, as uh, our efforts have proven on open spectrum and the life life, uh, lifeline program, has also has in developing countries. Uh, I've been working on the broadband plan in Brazil for over 10 years, trying to liberate the first uh, funding, the, 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 the fundings that all of us know, the billions and billions to broadband that are not being invested correctly, and that's the case of many countries. Um, and our core principle here at the end of the day, and I think um, our previous speakers also brought that, is to connect, is to see connectivity as a mean to a goal. And the sustainable development goals and the commitment of those almost 170 countries uh, at the UN General Assembly last year made that very clear, that what we want here at the end of the day is to eliminate extreme poverty. And I think the Microsoft video and, uh, and some efforts of Facebook in India are, uh, are proven that we have that in mind. Um, and what does it mean to have human rights by design? It means to have some element of openness in every layer of the internet, and that means in every initiative that brings connectivity. It means open standards, it means open I IPIs, it means privacy by design. There are a lot of efforts uh, going on on this, including on the W3C. It means education. Uh, some data that um, Lee Rainey brought made that very clear that people need to know what they are using that for and why. Uh, uh, for many years I've been working with open educational resources and we have been using actually uh, blogs and things like that to even um, uh, make people literate, right? Learn how to write for the first time in their life. That's a very tiny example on a broader initiative uh, we have been working on. Um, and that's why we have been supporting and engaging Global Connect since it's been announced. Uh, uh, we admire very much the energy of uh, Novelli and Manu in this uh, many months, but we, uh, as we told them many times and as we've uh, been telling many times, we need to keep these principles in mind, uh, ex ante and ex post, right? We need to think about principles that uh, will leverage the 20 billion already committed to Global Connect by many countries and many uh, companies uh, to really have in mind some principles when they are designing, but also uh, that the results are assessed based on that principles, what people are learning, what is coming out of that connectivity initiative. Uh, and that's how we want to contribute as a civil society stakeholder engaged. There is a working group coming out of Global Connect uh, where we are working on these principles and are trying to engage both with governments and the financial ministers and also with companies uh, to figure out that. And, uh, uh, and, and even more important with the uh, multilateral banks because those are the ones 
that uh, give the loans or grants uh, to the countries. Uh, as you know, I don't know if you know how to work, it comes from governments, US and Germany, for example, are some of the core investors on the World Bank on these initiatives, and then the bank distributes by contracts. And at the end of the day, many of us here are, con are lawyers, we just have to tweak a little bit the contract and then, of course, work the politics for this initiative to work. So we're gonna have one big policy, but then we have uh, top layer initiatives around education and, and understanding uh, what you can do with that technology. So I think that's our role as civil society, and uh, we're gonna keep supporting initiatives like that and working hand in hand uh, whenever these principles and things are there by design or uh, in mind. Thank you.